My name is Philip Martell. I'm the superintendent of schools for River Valley School District. River Valley is a brand new school district. This is our first year. Before this, we were Blairsville and Salzburg. We were one school district, but we were at different locations. Just this year, we combined to make one school, River Valley. We want to make sure that our students are experiencing the best education that they can. Everything we do here and that we put in over the last year has been for the students. There's a lot more opportunity for our children where before we didn't have enough students to warrant having that class. And so now we do have it. It's a fresh start. It's a great new facility. We've made a lot of upgrades and we're gonna continue to make upgrades. We've had tremendous change and really we brought equality back to this school district where students can get any amount of resources that they need but have more choices. And we're really creating a great 21st century environment for our school district. We added a media center this school year and it offers a variety of different spaces. So this production room that they created was the old library. This has really become the hub of the high school. Our students can come to this facility and participate in any, any one of the new studios, whether it be virtual reality, television, or the recording studio, all state of the art. We are actually in the studio, the audio production room. For starters, we uh, make music, produce music, they play instruments. You actually have a lot to work with here and you have some really good equipment that you can use. The students get all sorts of opportunities to do things with audio. The types of things that are that are real media jobs that are available today. Three, two, one. We are in our production studio. Good morning, River Valley students and staff. Today the weather will be partially cloudy. We come in here, we do uh, morning announcements, we film them. We do stuff every day like write the script and help with the prompter and the TriCaster and stuff. I think that every high school should have the opportunity for kids to be involved in any kind of creative arts, media production, video production. All the way down to the bottom. That's all I want you to do for now. We're in the Z-Space room in our media center. Z-Space is an innovative tool that gives students control of their learning. It's kind of like a uh, 3D augmented reality uh, system. Well, we're in anatomy class, so we use this mainly to study different parts of the body. We were just in here learning about the heart the other day. Z-Space is phenomenal. Um, it really has come a long way, but it allows the interaction for our students in no matter what subject area. The Cool Beans Cafe is just an idea that we had um, to open up the media center. It helps the students be able to get those snacks and those drinks that they might want through the day. Cool Beans is awesome. Our life skills students have an opportunity to learn real day-to-day -day skills. Our school board agreed to bring in a very sophisticated coffee maker. It makes coffee. Ice latte with the pushable button. And then we bring in other students to like help mentor the students within the cafe. So we used partnership together to get things done. The cafe is really important for our students. Um, we teach employability skills and anything that would help them gain that meaningful competitive employment after school. This is our battle bot that we're gonna use in this year's competition. It's just high school robotics. So the entire class is dedicated to building the robot. Tech Ed, our Tech Ed program's really notched it up over the last year. All of middle school and high school have the opportunity to be in here. Uh, you know, I'm very excited to know that the, uh, the environment here in our community and throughout the United States is manufacturing. And the fact that we can still have our industrial arts woodshop class transformed into robotics and still have all of these same uh, tools and machines that the kids need to know for this new manufacturing world. We actually are right in the process right now for the next fall opening up our new STEAM Academy, which will be located at the Salzburg campus. The STEAM Academy is an essential workforce development piece that the district has undertaken. What high priority occupations are in the area that we need to train students and prepare students for those jobs in the future. It will benefit our communities by keeping students local. Uh, I'm doing uh, electrical, learning to be an electrician. They're giving an apprenticeship through the STEAM Academy so you can learn how to be an electrician and get paid for it on the job right out of high school. 
SMART program, it's basically for individuals who are interested in the health field, specifically being like sports medicine doctors, chiropractors, physical therapists, occupational therapists. I'm kind of new to cybersecurity. I know that they prevent like hackers and I'm big with on like online and they can like prevent, like I know the PA state troopers have cybersecurity team. But we're also looking to expand this in the future and accept students from other school districts as well because we feel what we're doing there is different than the traditional career and vocational center. We're on a cutting edge of really what workforce demands are needed. The space that we're currently in, the library has been renovated this year, changed it more from a traditional library to more of a learning space for technology and science standard integration. We do a lot of stuff with engineering, green screens, connects, 3D pens. Good morning, Salzburg Elementary. Technology is just part of life now, mm -hmm. right? I mean, we have elementary students coming in, kindergarten students, five-year-olds, well-versed with iPads and how to use a mouse and a trackpad. Technology is used in a lot of different ways. Yeah, and since a few years ago, we went to a one-to-one -one device for each child. Every, so every single student every, has a Chromebook every, that they do not share. Every kid has their own. They <laughs> take it home, they bring it back, they take it home, mm -hmm. they bring it back. It's exciting to see because that is the direction of the future and we're providing our students those skills at an early age. Of course, promoting a love of reading is still and always will be the heart of the library and mine too, so. We're also making an investment in our early childhood. We are starting an early childhood academy over at the Salzburg side of the district. It's just so important that kids at that age get to be in a school setting. I mean, they get to learn so many things as far as social interaction. Everything is going to be tailored directly to the students' needs. All the furniture, all of the playgrounds, everything's going to be pre-K size. And then we're really going to be able to focus just on the early childhood development. Studies show that the interventions at the pre-K level really help students get started in their educational career and really benefit them. So we want to make that investment in our young ones. We do, we have a cyber academy because digital learning is here to stay. And it is fully online, but we also have two fully functioning cyber labs where students can come in and get live help on a daily basis. I have a lot of fun there. Uh, one thing I love about it is it's really flexible. You can uh, leave early or uh, come early if you have other things that you need to do. I love how you can do art things. We go to the gym sometimes. They can go to our Cyber Academy and still connect and work with our teachers and our staff. And in the event that they want to return to the brick and mortar, they can walk right back into our courses. So our new Cyber Academy saves the district valuable resources, go close to a million dollars this year alone. History plays an important part of what we do. So while not forgetting the past, we do need to move to the future. The future is bright here. We're infusing technology. We are um, listening to our students, making it school a fun place where they want to be. You have an opportunity here to shine. You're going to find something somewhere that you're going to take to. You know, whether it's music, the arts, audio, our CIHS courses, we have something here for you. This year, I am doing the Cyber Academy. We built robots. I like all the new changes they introduced with uh, new like classes and the media center. Definitely opened up a lot of uh, new opportunities for us. The STEAM Academy is yet another area providing the 21st century work skills. What a great way to get kids, well-rounded kids, to see other career opportunities. We're open for business. We want to create a different environment from any other public school in, in Western Pennsylvania, and that's something we're going to do within the next three years. It's an exciting time to be a student at River Valley. Yeah.